Hi, how are you doing? This is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome into this short screencast today to show you how to download content from the VIP members area of the program. It's really easy to do, but uh, I have seen some posts recently where some people have been confused as to how you do it. So let me just whiz you through this and show you exactly how it's done. Now, the first thing I'll say to you is it is always better to navigate the members area on a full-size computer or laptop. Trying to do a course as significant and as big and as broad as this on your phone, on that little screen, is you're, just, you're making your life far too difficult. Try and do this on a computer or a laptop. So let's log into the members area and I will show you how you download content so that you can use it offline without an internet connection. And that's important uh, in certain parts of the content, for example, the hypnosis downloads, because if you are streaming these on the internet, one of two things could happen. Firstly, if you're relying on an internet connection to listen to this material and your internet connection stutters for some reason or drops out, the track will stop playing. This will bring you out of trance and it will damage the process. Secondly, if you're listening on the internet, that means that your phone is not switched onto airplane mode, which means somebody could text, somebody could call, you could get some notification that again breaks you out of trance. So for some sections of this course, listening offline is really important. So let's go into the course itself. And you'll see here, if I go to day one, uh, you'll see on the screen here, here, the, here is the video that you would listen to and watch as part of the course. But over here to the right, you will see the downloads associated with today's lesson. All right, this is why it's important to view this on a computer because on a, on a phone, this is gonna be way down here at the bottom, okay? Now, what we have here is we have a PDF file and an MP3 file. So let's click on the PDF because the MP3 would take a while to download. This is in Google Chrome. It's different in each browser, but it, generally, if you're used to using your browser, you will know what happens when you click on a download. In Chrome, the way I have it set, it will ask me where I want to save it. So I'm gonna save it onto the desktop, all right? If you do this in Safari, chances are it'll just open in your downloads folder or something like that, but you'll be used to that because you've been using that browser for a while. So if we go to my desktop now, here it is, still downloading. Uh, we'll be there in just a second, I'm sure. Uh, so there is the file that we just downloaded, the PDF file, okay? So I can do whatever I want with that file now. I can drag it over onto my tablet or onto my phone, or I can leave it there on the computer and read it offline like that. If it was an MP3 file, we could uh, drag that into iTunes and then sync it with our phone and just listen to it like any other MP3, like if it was a song or an audiobook or anything like that. If you don't use iPhone, you're an Android person, then I guess you would use your Android file transfer process. The same as if someone sent you an MP3 song to listen to. You just drag it over into your library and then you'll be able to listen on your phone without an internet connection. And it really is as simple as that. So if you have any questions, get in touch and ask away, but hopefully that helps you out.